Hello, my name is William Crockett, and I have a special word from the Lord about heaven. It really was a unique conversation, and I'm excited to share with you what I heard. So I asked God, what is heaven? And I felt him say, heaven is a place of my divine presence without natural restraint or limitations. Earth is also a place of my presence, but a place that has fallen from my presence. In the beginning, the garden was a place of my divine presence in the natural order. But due to sin and the fall of Adam, the world has become a battle place of temptation, sin, and pride. So we see this distinction that, yes, heaven is a place of his presence, but so was the earth. Heaven, a more spiritual realm, earth, physical, and God desired to reign in both places. But due to the fall of Adam, the natural order also fell with him. And even though God's presence is here, there is also the presence of evil and sin. Heaven remains a place of purity and heavenly order in the spiritual realm. And then I asked the Lord this question, Is there pride in heaven? And I felt him say, There is no pride in heaven only abundance of grace and truth. Lucifer indeed had pride and fell from heaven because pride cannot last in the presence of so much grace, peace, and truth. He was thrust out by his own accord. I love truth and I love humility. In heaven, both reside. So I think that would be a question for a lot of people. Didn't Lucifer fall in heaven? Why didn't heaven fall with him? The difference was that God was the head of heaven. And even though God is head of earth, he gave his authority to man to rule and reign, and man fell. Lucifer did not hold the same position in heaven that Adam held on earth. So when Lucifer fell, it did not bring all of heaven with him, just a portion of the angels. And then I asked the Lord this, what prevents us from entering into heaven? And I heard these words, your sin, your pride, your ego. You prevent yourself from entering such a blessed place of majesty and reason, this place of eternal abode and light, this place where I dwell perpetually and continually, this place where all are granted access into my presence at will, where I bar none from entering into my throne room of grace, mercy, and truth. Even you on earth can enter into this place by faith. I really love how the Lord said that none are limited in coming to him in heaven, that at any moment we can come boldly into his throne room and I know a question would be, well, if there's billions of people or millions in heaven, how can everybody just have access? A lot of it, I believe, is because heaven is multidimensional. It's not like this physical realm where Jesus could only be in one place at one time before his death. But in heaven, there is eternity. There's multi-dimensions. God can meet somebody individually at the same time he meets somebody else individually. I mean, that's my theory, but I believe it does line up with what we believe heaven is like. And I asked the Lord this last question about heaven. How do we enter into heaven even while on earth? And I heard him say, You live in heaven by the Spirit if you are truly my child. Does the scriptures not say, you are seated in heavenly places? Many live far from the truth of what they say they believe. Heaven is not simply a place, but a reality, a feeling, a knowing, an understanding of what is true. The place you call heaven is nothing more than an extension of my grace and mercy. Heaven was not created for me, but for my people. Hell was not created for you before your enemy, the devil. Trust in me, my children, that you may enter into my eternal abode when you pass from this earthly life. There was a lot there. But one thing is this. We are seated with Christ in heavenly places right now. Literally, by the Spirit, we are in heaven right now while our physical body is on the earth. And I believe the Lord is saying there that by faith, we have access to that eternal place. I mean, we understand that Paul was taken up to heaven 
and many other people after him have also been brought to heaven, some more than others. And I believe if we can live in a place of faith, we can experience more of the reality of heaven on earth. And let me read this from the Lord's last answer. Heaven is not simply a place, but a reality, a feeling, a knowing, an understanding of what is true. It's almost ironic because that's really what the New Age people say. Heaven is not a place, it's a state of mind. Hell is right here, heaven is right here, and all that stuff. And actually, there is some truth in that. But heaven is also a place as well. Hell is also a place as well. And so it's very important that, yes, we can live with a heaven consciousness right now, but we also will enter into that place called heaven if we are a child of God. And so I just want to stop right there. I don't know who is watching this, but if I were to come through your screen and ask you, are you a child of God, what would you say? And then if I asked you why, how would you respond? The Bible is very clear. We can only become true children of God through faith in Jesus Christ. God has put a stamp of approval on this man's ministry. This man who was God incarnate. This man who paid the penalty of your sin and my sin on the cross. And when we come to him by faith, we receive forgiveness of our sin and our darkness. And when that happens, we become children of God. Think about it. If God had a child, do you think he would be dark or light? We all have done darkness, but through faith in Jesus and repentance, we can become children of light and then true children of God. And then heaven becomes our rightful inheritance, the place we get to be with the Lord forever. And one final thing before we go about heaven. Yes, there is a place called heaven right now. But remember this, God is going to transform this place called earth into a new earth. And heaven will be here and we will be with him. Hey, this is William Crockett. I hope you enjoyed that video about heaven. The Lord is speaking today. And it may sound so crazy that he is, but that's what the Bible teaches. And so he's given me this ministry to share with you what he is saying about certain things today. But again, I want you to check what I say with the word of God and by also going to the Lord in prayer. If you believe anything I said did not align with the scriptures, I encourage you to comment below and let me know. And if you do believe this was a word from the Lord, I encourage you also to let me know as well. I want to be held accountable. I don't want to just say random things. And if you want to watch another video, I have a word about America that I believe would bless you.